I want to talk about the statistics worksheet on the TIBA2 Plus calculator. Now, what this does is it performs analysis on one and two variable data with four regression analysis models. And this can be kind of useful in a test. It's not, it's not great for doing regression analysis if you have lots and lots of observations, but if you happen to be sitting in a test and you have to do some regression analysis for a small number of observations, or you're just doing it to find the relationship, perhaps you have uh, a few observations and you'd like to get sort of a quick estimate of the regression parameters, this can be quite useful. Okay, there are better ways to do real regression analysis using either a spreadsheet or some canned computer package. And in addition to the uh, regression analysis coefficients, it also computes some descriptive statistics that can be useful. All right, the models it computes are, it does linear standard, standard linear regression, and you'll find that when we um, get to the worksheet, if we go to LIN, you'll get the standard linear regression model, which is Y, the dependent variable, equals A, which is the intercept term, plus B, the slope coefficient, times X. And so what you get here is a straight line with slope of B, intercept of A, and it shows you the relationship between X and Y. It also does logarithmic regression, which is going to be Y equals A plus B times the natural log of X. It does exponential regression, which is Y equals A times B raised to the X power power regression, which is y equals a times x raised to the b power. And 1 dash v is the setting if you just put in one variable and you want some of these descriptive statistics. So you don't want uh, any regression parameters. You've only put in one set of data. What do you get here? Well, I just uh, scanned something from the uh, from the manual for the TI uh, calculator. And the, some of the information you get here is you get the number of observations, you get the mean of X and the mean of Y, the sample standard deviation of X and the sample standard deviation of Y, the population standard deviations. You also get the regression parameters, A and B, the slope coefficient and the um, intercept term. You can also get predicted values for X or for Y. And you can actually put in one number and then you compute the prediction of the other. So what it does is it estimates the regression parameters and then you put in, <clears throat> for example, an X value and it'll tell you what the regression model predicts Y will be. It also gives you some other data like the sum of the X values, the sum of the Y values, the sum of x squared values, the sum of y squared values, and some of x, y uh, products. And it does that. That may be useful if you're doing something like ANOVA, where you need some of these um, values to do some computations. All right, let's take a look at an example here. Now, in order to use the stat worksheet, you have to put the data in. And there's actually a data worksheet that you use to put the data in. So to get to the data worksheet, you hit second. And above the 7, it says data. So you hit that, and it's going to ask you for each variable. So here it asks for the first x variable. We'll put in 25. So 25, make sure you hit enter so you see the equal sign. Down arrow key, put in the first value for y, which is 19. Enter. Um, x2 is 32. And you'll do that for all of the observations here. 15, and you can see it's kind of tedious to do this, so if you were doing lots and lots of observations, this would not be necessarily the most efficient um, tool to use to do regression analysis. And finally, 18 for y. Okay, so I put in the observations. Now we can go to the stat worksheet. And here you hit second over the 8 key. It says stat. And here it's set up for linear regression. And you can change this by hitting second enter. Now you get the log 
regression. Now you get the exponential. Now you get the power. Um, here you get the one variable, descriptive statistics. All right, let's go back to linear regression. So if we scroll down, we see that it says, well, we have four observations. Okay, no real surprise here. The mean of x is 31. So if you added these numbers up, divided by 4, you get an average value of 31. The sample standard deviation is 6.6833. The population standard deviation is 5.79. And the difference between the two is whether you divide by n or n minus 1 for the sample standard deviation you'd be dividing those um, deviations, square deviations from the mean by um, n minus 1 and for the population you'd be dividing by n. Now if you have lots and lots of observations, say you had a thousand observations, dividing by a thousand or dividing by 999 isn't going to change things that much. Here's the case where we're dividing by four or dividing by three and that is going to change the number a bit. Okay, they give you the mean of y, so again if we added all these up and divided by uh, the number of observations we get 17. Okay, St sample standard deviation for y uh, population standard deviation for y. Now running the regression we get an intercept term of 17.23. We get a slope coefficient of minus 0 0.0074 so it's almost flat but a little bit downward sloping. Um, the r squared actually turns out to be negative here. It's a not a very good fit for this regression model. Not exactly sure why we have a negative r squared. This must be an adjusted r squared. Um, this would be for predicted values. So let's say I put in a value of oh, 45 for x prime. I can compute what y prime would be. It's predicted predicted to be about 16.9. It gives you the sum of x, gives you the sum of x squared, sum of y, sum of y squared, and the product of those. And then we're back to the beginning. And we could change this to uh, log regression. And a lot of these things aren't going to change. Um, the, well, actually, the mean of x bar is going to change here. So it changes the values. It does the computations again for us. But you can see that this could be kind of a useful tool in um, a stats class or someplace where you have a small number of observations, need some descriptive statistics, or need to compute a quick regression.